The year was 1937, and while the country remained captivated by the Hindenburg disaster, it was full speed ahead at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, ahead of the Indianapolis 500 silver anniversary. For the 25th running of the race, roughly 70,000 people dealt with temperatures soaring to 92 degrees, still one of the hottest race days on record, but that didn't stop them from wearing hats and pants. Those Coca-Colas were flowing. Rare aerial footage shows the Speedway still in its early days, though for the first time the track's turns were paved with asphalt in a move towards safety. And on the track itself, Shelbyville's own Wilbur Shaw grabbed the lead in the number six and didn't look back. He and his mechanic fought off late mechanical issues and a quickly gaining Ralph Hepburn to win his first Indianapolis 500 by just more than two seconds. Shaw's still the last Indiana-born driver to win the greatest spectacle in racing. On the road to 100, Jason Fechner, RTV6.